no way that I can sit here and tell you that I, I thought we were going to score eight runs. Now, what Chuck Brandon did was, was certainly something that we have seen him pitch very well all year. But to go out there and pitch in that arena, in those conditions, with the poise and being in control of everything is what he's all about and certainly is what our program is all about. Very, very pleased the way he took control of the situation. And of course, you saw what Rammer did, JB did. I told JB, as much as the base hit to right that scored two, with the way he played the game and getting down to second base on the throw, I'll remember more than I will the base hit because that's what this game's all about in Florida State's eyes. Good win for us. We, we know that there's nothing settled. It's a long, still a long way to go. Either of those two clubs can come back and win this thing. <laughs> There's nothing sealed in concrete. We've got to be ready to go tomorrow at 6 o'clock, whoever we play. Brad, uh, Coach, just talked about your composure all year, but when you get a tough call and your face is loaded, the guy that's had 23 home runs, sorry about your mindset. Yeah, I know. We got a little unlucky there. Um, you know, I just tried to bear down the best I could. Uh, made a couple key pitches. Uh, luckily, got the strikeout and then the line out. But, you know, to get out of that was huge momentum, and then we put it on after that. Mike, how big was that first inning? I mean, when you walked out there, what kind of conversation was that in the first? And... Basically, just to go out there and make sure that we we were all on the same page, where where the infielders are supposed to be. Uh, in that situation, we play ground ball to your. JB, ground ball to his right, he's going to second, right at him, he's going to the plate the same way with the uh, third baseman to his left, and, and of course Brandon is working with the catcher on that. So just being sure that we're all on the same page on the ground ball. Coach Martin, how big was Sherman's uh, leadoff home run? Is that his first this year? Third, third home run? He didn't, have, he didn't have one for so long, I thought it was his first one. It was just a tremendous lift for our club because Sherman came to the park today and didn't feel 100%. In fact, when I got to the ground ball session about 545, Sherman was in the training room getting treatment on his arm and he, he couldn't figure out what, was, what had happened and I think he just got a little tendonitis there, but of course he Bean Sherman said something to the effect, well, I'm, I'm going to play. If Michael Jordan can play with 104 temperature, I can play with a little bad arm. So he went out there and gave us a big lift. No doubt that was a big lift. Mike, did you think at all about sending Grant back out for the ninth inning? He was at 114, the most he had thrown all year, uh, about that long. Uh, he, just, he just pitched so beautifully that uh, I wanted him to finish, but not at the expense of overusing him. 114, having pitched for four months in this program, is not a big deal. Maybe 125 would have exceeded the most he's pitched by 20, and that's too many. Brandon, so what was working for you? I mean, he cruised the last five innings out you were out there. Well, you know, I just try to get ahead of my fastball and mix it up. Uh, I was able to hit my spots. Um, they chased a couple pitches, um, and I just tried my best, you know, make key pitches, key situations, and it just worked out well. After the first inning, did you find a comfort level and a kind of a groove that you were in? You know, you feel like you definitely can settle down, especially after a jam like that. Um, I think I was able to have, get a couple of Three up, three down innings, which is huge for us. Um, you know, they're a great team. You know, just trying to control their lineup the best we could. Now, James, in the sixth and seventh inning, obviously you guys really uh, 
put it on them. Um, and in BP, it seems like a lot of stuff was on the ground for you. Um, but in the game, you were able to, you know, hunt that ball and make a huge play. Like, what were you able to kind of work on against Sanford to, you know, open it up for the Knolls? Yeah, I think that, um, you know, BP is, is pretty overrated. Um, but for me, I like to just really get my approach down, put the ball on the ground, put the ball the other way. Um, really not try to sit there and put on a show because it doesn't mean a whole lot. It's five o'clock, um, but you know, it's just one of those things where I'm, I'm trying to put myself uh, to, to help this team win. I know that my days in Garden Gold are numbered, and I know that, and um, so I'm putting out a battle on the line for our East team. Okay, so what was the pitch uh, in a, for the Grand Slam? Slider, just slider. It was probably pretty close to the first pitch. It was slider first pitch off the plate, slider second pitch off the plate. Yeah. Well, Ethan, Ethan Martin, my boy Ethan, you know, every Ethan Martin, Ethan uh, Fisher came up after the game, and he, he said, he said, nice hit. I said, thanks, Ethan. He goes, it didn't go that far. And I, said, <laughs> I said, thanks, thanks, Ethan. And Trey's like Trey's and I hit him, so no, it's good to see. So. You been switching the bat up a little bit, like you going from the white one to the red ones or anything today? You're just grabbing the closest bat or what? Detail guy I like that. Um, I have been I just, uh, you know, whatever works. Baseball is a game, and I'm all about like the Ted Williams style thing, where I swing the exact same wood bat, weight the exact same metal bat. Um, but I just want to have like three XOs, and they've all kind of been breaking the inner rings of them. Um, up at Clemson, especially, I broke two bats, in, in, two bats in three at bats. So I was kind of frustrated a little bit. I talked to a little guy when he was here a couple weeks ago, and he's like, I swear to you, you change bats, it'll help. And so, um, you know, hats off to him for that. One. Jace, with their offense, even the way uh, Brandon was pitching, until that hit, you guys feel like just still uncomfortable, like they could still come back to the way they you know, offensive. Yeah, I wouldn't use uncomfortable, um, but at the same time, you know that they're very dangerous. They have a great lineup and swing the bat really well. Um, they had a couple, a couple pretty good APs and it just didn't work out in their favor tonight. But um, until we broke it open a little bit, you're definitely still on your toes. And you, know, you never really relax either, but at the same time, you got, you got a little breathing room. How much did you want to come through in that spot? You know, they walk ram ram or give you the ball. You know, you just get in those situations and that's what you come here to do. I mean, you put in those those crunch time situations and you gotta you gotta perform, you gotta show out, and that's I'm glad I got the opportunity, I'm glad I came through. Was it a curveball that you did? No, it was a fastball now. I tried to sneak one by I took a pretty big hack at the first curveball. Yeah, he did. Kind of try to sneak one by and got a pretty good swing on it. <laughs> At that, at that point, are you thinking right field? Because I know on your previous at bat, you kind of turned over on an outside curveball. Yeah, in that, in that situation, you know, too, that they're just trying to get a ground ball, trying to get a double play and get out of the inning with um, no damage at all. And when he let off the pitch, I think he threw breaking ball and fastball down in the way. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's always my approach. Usually it's just right center gap and just try to hit it that way with as much force as I can. Brandon, in the sixth inning, once things really started to open up as far as offense, how much did that help you continue to, you know, feel the confidence that you're going to be able to bring it home? It was huge. Uh, anytime your offense puts runs up on the board, you try and go out there, get quick outs, uh, pound the zone, and uh, get them back in the dugout with them swing the sticks. Mike, you talked about how he hadn't really been stretched out in terms of pitches that far. How impressed were you given that? I mean, you struck out a couple guys in the eighth inning. And the command and everything that Brandon had late. I was just looking at this, and, and it, it seems that he did not allow a base runner in the seventh and eighth, uh, possibly the sixth, seventh, and eighth. Sixteen in a row. Was it sixteen in a row? I did go to Florida State. That's five. <laughs> <laughs>
thanks if y'all can hear me. It was a great atmosphere. It was fun to be a part of it. And, uh, like I say, a lot of baseball.